Is there some reason I have to go outside every time we do this? It's the best safeguard against wiretapping. Well... So Akane-san was the director of a Pali Kana orphanage. Everyone in the organization seemed to know her. Yes. And even the sage himself is concerned for her safety. Interesting. It seems your investigation's going well. If you've got something to say, then say it. Whatever you do, you report it to me. Don't think I didn't hear about your little tussle with the Barracudas. If you already know, then why do I need to report? You might want to rethink your situation a bit. Maybe you don't fear anything, seeing as your days are numbered. But you're a spider hanging by a single thread. Steer clear of the flames below. I'll be more careful. Hmm. Continue tracking the subject then. After all, you've got a lot riding on this. Uh, also... What? You're not done lecturing? I was going to ask if you did what you came to do. The woman you loved. Your son was it? I understand her dream was to get married in Hawaii. So you wanted to at least take her ring to the place she longed for. That's why you accepted this mission in the first place. Yeah. Then, with that out of the way, let's try to focus on the mission, shall we? I certainly hope you can. Sorry for the wait. What did they say? The Daidoji faction. They called, right? Seems like we're the closest to Akane-san. They had no other info on their end. The plan stays the same. We find Akane-san before anyone else, and we protect her. Gotcha. So, no clues from them, then? Nope. All they could do was tell me to stay in line. I'm sure. It's not like you're the easiest guy to keep tabs on. Dumbass? What's that supposed to mean? Come on. You really don't think so? He'd be a good boss, at least. Hey, take it easy, you two. You might hurt my feelings. <laughs> yeah, you look real hurt, Kiryu-san. Do I? Hi. It's gotten late. Ready to call tonight? Um... Yeah, sure. Yes. Yeah, might as well get some sleep. See you in the morning. <sighs> All right. What's the plan for today? I wonder where you're at right now, Akane-san. About that, I think I might have a good idea. Wait, really? But before I say anything, I need to make sure of something. She knows about you, right, Ichiban? That you're her son? Uh, uh yeah. Uh, Captain Sawashiro should have told her. Does she know your face, then? Is she gonna know you're the Ichiban? I think so. Otherwise, she'd have no idea I'm actually me. Knowing the captain, he'd be pretty thorough about all that. Got it, got it. Good. We've checked all the boxes. Hey, what's up? Did I hear we got a plan? curious son. Sounds like we're moving. What's going on? Chicha says she might have something. Go on. We all tried to find Akane-san on our own, to the best of our abilities. He tried Akane-san's house and the orphanage she worked at, not to mention the places she did volunteer work for. We even went deep into the heart of a Mafia hangout, right? Ah, you know, when you say it like that, I guess we've done some pretty crazy things. Right. Unfortunately, none of that has helped us find Akane-san. Yeah. 
Even the Daidoji faction hasn't found any more clues. It means one thing. We're running out of options. Finding her on our own is looking a lot less likely. Yeah, I guess so. Doesn't that also mean we've hit a dead end, then? Hang on. There's more to it. Our goal up to now has been simple. Find Akane-san. But what if she was the one who found us? <laughs> Get Akane-san to find us? Okay. How are we gonna do that? That's where he comes in. We put Ichiban in the spotlight. Slap a video on the internet. We'll make a video that catches as many eyes as possible. Show the world that Ichiban Kasuga's out there. All of Hawaii's gonna know his name. Just wait. All right. Sure. Not on board? No, it's a good idea. I mean, really, it is. But I don't know if you've heard. Ichiban went through some pretty awful shit in Japan, thanks to a video. The net chewed him up, spit him out. I mean, I doubt he'd want to jump back in. Well, you've got a point, I guess. What'll it be, Kasuga? Hey, Tomi, as far as gangs around here go, are the Barracudas the only ones in charge? Hmm? Why do you ask? And no, they're just a part of it. They only run District 5 and their counterfeit op. Honolulu's home to all kinds of gangs. There's a Chinese group that's similar, if not bigger. All right. Huh? Well, I think it's a great idea, Chichan. Believe it or not, I pulled a similar thing on TV a few years back. <laughs> he interrupted a live campaign speech, of all things. True story. Wait, you really did that? Well, it was kind of my only option at the time. Anyway, Tommy, thanks for looking out. I got no issue making a video. Oh, all right. Long as you're cool with it. That settles it, then. Now, if I just knew where to start... Jitose, are you good with this stuff? Leave it to me. In fact, I'll be the director. You sure about that? Okay. Well, I guess I'll come up with a cool script then. Ichiban, there's a lot you want to say, right? It might be tough to improv it. Yeah. Hmm. I'll get some cue cards ready. <laughs> what the hell? Let's go for a million views. Maybe we even get one of those gold plaques, huh? This is still about Ichiban, right? No, I don't know much myself, but it sounds fun. Is there anything I can do? Oh, no, no. You just take it easy, Kiryu-san. We'll handle all the trivial stuff. <laughs> I may be dying, but I'm not dead yet. These bones still have some life in them, all things considered. Well, um... Yeah, then, then you can... Oh! Okay, Kiryu-san, I know just the thing. I'm serious. If you're not the man for the job, then no one is. Okay, I'm curious. What's the... How's this gonna go? Is it... That better not be a TikTok. A subwoofer! A video's nothing without sound. Kiryu-san, you're the backbone of this whole thing. So this is what you call a shotgun mic. <laughs> it's a good, strong name. No holding back now, Kasuga. I'll spread your voice to the world. Haha, <laughs> you got it! Kiryu son's surprisingly playful, isn't he? Eh, those eyes are free. He holds that mic like he's staring down a wild beast. Ah oh, well, at least we know he's fully invested. Right, let's do it. Okay, we're good, Ichiban. I'm already rolling the camera, so go ahead and start talking. Alright, the text size is good on these, right? Either way, this won't mean much if we don't catch Akane-san's eye. She's gotta know her son's out there looking for her. Do whatever you can to make that clear. Yep, we can't lose that. And not only are we uploading this to a fresh channel, but we're trying to make it explode. The bar is ludicrously high here. God only knows if we'll even come close. We need something that'll make an impact. Something to make the thumbnail pop, you know? We want an impact, huh? There's gotta be something. Oh! Ah, but should I? Huh? What's wrong? I think it's something good? Well, I did, but I'm not too sure about it. 
If you think it's good, then what's stopping you? They're not that rare in Hawaii. I doubt you'll scare anybody. Here you son, how'd you know? Let's just call it a hunch. Besides, it's how I figured out you were here. It's pretty hard to miss. Oh yeah? Then let's go for it. Wait, I have no idea what I uh, don't know what okay. I don't know what we're talking about. Hey, time out. Huh? You two have some kind of secret language or something? Come on, spill the beans. Uh, my bad. Here, let me show you what we mean. Feast your eyes! <sighs> Normally, I'd keep this thing under wraps. But, if it helps us get closer to Akane-san, it's worth it. So? Think this will make enough waves? <laughs> I think the crowd says it all. This thing's gonna make a tsunami. <laughs> all right, then keep that camera rolling. <clears throat> Allow me to introduce myself. I come from Kamrocho. Some would call it the armpit of Tokyo, Japan. Born and raised from the suds of an inner city soapland, the name Zichiban Kasuga. Some have even called me the hero of Yokohama. <laughs> Separated from my mother at birth, I am now on a quest to find her. And so I've traveled land and sea, only to find myself right here in Honolulu City. Mom? If you're out there, I just want to say I love you. And to everyone else, aloha! <laughs> He's a natural-born showman. Hey, don't just straight up ignore the cue cards. Dude, I put my heart into these. <laughs> it's fine. This is way better material. Now then, as this dragonfish on my back implies, I'm a former but forever rambling Yakuza. So while I search for my dear old mom, I'll be showing you all the sights this island has to offer. I call it Yakuza Kahuna Hawaiian Style. Oh, that just happened. Yes, sir. From waddling around a Kamrocho soap land, I later grew up to have my own life in a gene show. But there was something on my mind, so I left Japan. Landed here just the other day, and let me tell you, being my first time overseas, a whole bunch of crazy stuff's gone down. For example, right when I got off the plane, I had the pleasure of being robbed at gunpoint. Gunpoint, <laughs> huh? You heard that right? And it was my boy Tommy Zawakun here. Dude, what the hell? This is a terrible intro. He was fluent in Japanese, so I picked his taxi. Who'd have guessed he was a small time crook? As you can see, however, we have quickly become the best of friends. Hawaii freaking rules! Even the crooks are laid back. Talk about island style. And the robbery wasn't the last of my Hawaiian hurdles. Soon after that, I got jacked and wound up butt naked on the beach. That didn't stop Ichiban Kasuga. No, I'm back in action. I came here for some big new adventures. Hawaii called me, and boy, did I answer. And cut. Man, did you have to call me out like that? You were way softer on Chitose. Yeah, my bad. Uh, but chi has got that thing. We don't want her family finding out, right? <sighs> Sheesh. If only you thought that way about me. Eh, whatever. A few hot topics should get the people buzzing, at least. Well, at least he didn't bring up Kiryu at all, because he's dead man. Also, holy crap, Ichiban. Since when were you that articulate? <laughs> I learned from experience. They used to have me host the family banquets. <laughs> Guess it pays to work hard while you're young. Anyway, let's hit the streets. Get some shots of Kasuga in the places that really scream Hawaii. Sounds good. Okay, Kasuga clan, let's get filming. Well, this is interesting. It could work.
if a Connie song is at a place with the internet. All right, that should be more than enough material. Great! Now let's throw it all online! Uh, no, 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 you're gonna have to edit it first. We want it to go viral, so it's gotta be the best it can be. Yeah, don't be like me, where you just cut a little beginning, a little bit of the end, bam, you're done. You'll help me out, won't you, Tommy? Ah, <sighs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it finally feels like I'm actually in Hawaii now. I mean, seriously, it's been trouble this, trouble that, back to back. <laughs> I guess that's true. But it's been fun on my side, too. Thanks, Kaska. Ah, you ask me, this is just the beginning. I'm worried with how Kiryu's rank and everything goes up. It just goes up randomly, and on top of that, the abilities are learned. He, also, he doesn't have drink links. I'm worried at some point, it's by Kiryu. I'm sure there'll be even more fun down the line. We're in Hawaii, after all? Japan's always talking about this place. We ought to enjoy every second, Kiryu-san. Aren't you forgetting why you came here? Not one bit. <laughs> Editing it all together is going to take some time, so you two can hang back until then. Sure. If it's going to take a while, I'll go rest up at the hotel. Yeah, maybe I'll go swimming, since we're near the beach and all. Roger that. See you soon. Chi-chan says the video is gonna... Oh, take a bit. Guess I'll take a dip. Alright, to swimming I go. Huh? What's huh? going on? Oh, It's a tortoise. <laughs> oh, would you look at that. I never thought I'd see the day. No shit. They're so rare, they got all kinds of laws protecting them. Find a buyer, though. You're swimming in it. You don't say. Lucky us. Now let's hurry up and bag it. Hey, the hell are you doing? The fuck you care? What, you after this stupid thing too? Too bad. This one's ours. I'm not after Jack, pal. Still, this turtle, you said it's protected, right? Sounds to me like you should leave it alone. Hey! Piss off! This is my pet! See? Look how happy it is! <laughs> happy. Believe me, I'm looking. And who asked you? Hey, let's drown this dumbass! Yeah! I'm gonna fuck you! Oh, let's man. do it! They're so easy, just so quick to murder. Let's get it done! Hmm. Open one. You've done well. And picking time. Break yourself. Oh, baby. Knuckle down. for knuckle. Return. But let's get it done. Open one. Or I find you to this place. I'm gonna try that attack. I didn't think anything was really gonna happen. Goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye. Oh, you be proud. Think I'm oh, spicy strike. Nice. Too strong. <sighs> What a bunch of jerks. All good there, little fella? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you for saving me. What? Hey, don't mention it. You take care now, all right? Wait, what? Did that thing just talk? Oh, that wasn't the turtle. That was me. <laughs> oh, dear. This voice is going to be huh? annoying. Oh, shit! Well, 
Aren't I? What are you? Sure. Like a dinosaur Whatever, thing? man. You're. you're... What? <laughs> Watch your... Uh, oh, well. He'll live. <laughs> right then. Guess we'll take him to the island. Honestly, turtle demon. Oh, that's just plain rude. Wouldn't you say, Kamakichi? Ichi, how did you get knocked out from an umbrella? That is stationary. All right. Pound mates. During battle, you get some powerful. Oh. Uh, huh? uh the text is different. Oh, sheesh, must have hit my head. <laughs> what the, the heck is this place? Oh wow, it's a dump. Oh, ho, ho, ho. finally awake, are we? Glad to see it. Huh? Oh, God. Hello! Hello! Ha! Oh, monsters! <laughs> you know, I didn't expect this. Wrong again, friend. My name's Gachapine, and this here is... Muku. Guilty as charged. Now then, I heard you saved my pals Kamakichi and Gachapin. We owe you big time for that. Oh, uh, uh don't mention it. Gachapin and Muku, right? I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Nice to meet you. Ichiban Kasuga? Wow, what a name! Uh, so, this place yours? This is Don Joko Island, the ultimate vacation from your worries and cares. A true resort paradise. You say resort? That's right. And Muko and I, in all our splendor, are its very own mascots. Oh, yeah, the kids just love us. Hate to say it, but I mean, at least they're not as scary as the pineapple man. <laughs> uh, at least they did. The island at rock bottom. Sure, sure, okay. So your mascots. So on the menu, there's the Doka Island that is a selectable option. I got a feeling about the unlock. Uh, What's it called? Animal Crossing. Or was it uh, Island Sanctuary on FF14? Oh, sorry to freak and call you monsters and stuff. It was all so sudden, you just kind of surprised me. But, uh, is this really a resort? We're the only ones here, and what's up with all the trash? Oh, oh you had to mention it. Oh, uh, my bad. Did I, um, uh, say something wrong? There's a reason this place is empty. I'll give you two words. Illegal dumping. Who are you? Name's Matayoshi. I'm the owner of Dondoko Island. I'm told you rescued my friend here. Thanks for that, Kasuka-san. Oh, wow, so this whole place is yours? Oh, nice to meet you. Believe it or not, this island used to be a resort. Truly, fun sights and sounds at every turn. We also had guests at every turn. So much good business, even the residents enjoyed having them here. But you see, at some point, a no-good waste disposal group called the Washbucklers showed up, started illegally dumping on our island. You mean, like, trash? What else? From shore to shore, they've littered the place. We're talking high-cost refuse, too. And pollution's only half of it ever since we spoke up. From there, they started destroying everything. Worse! They even started harassing the guests! Really bad guys doing really bad things! After that, we got less and less visitors. Eventually, they just stopped coming. They aren't the only ones missing either, sad to say. All the residents up in Skedaddle too. With them gone, there's practically no one left. In fact, it's a ghost town. These days, it'd be a miracle if guests showed up. It was one turn after another, and now it's just us three. I tell you, 
This rock has really hit rock bottom. <laughs> ah, I forgot about you, Kamikichi. Sorry about that. That's awful. These guys must be some real creeps. Indeed. Still, we haven't given up just yet. I think if we stay the course, we'll get back on track and return Dontoko Island to its former glory. As you can guess, it's why we've all stuck around. <sighs> then again, maybe we're too far gone. Those mongrels keep dumping and we just can't seem to keep up. Honestly, maybe it's time. Might just have to pack up and say farewell. Don't say that, Mata yoshi san <laughs> That's right! We're the island's mascots, after all! If we lose this place, we really won't have much else, you know? Oh, right. Apologies. <sighs> oh, sorry! Didn't mean to get all gloomy doomy on ya! <laughs> we should brighten things up! Yes! At least for today! That's right! You're our first guest in a long time! You know what that means! It's time to party! We don't have much to offer, but since it's getting dark, you ought to stay the night. Let loose a little, Kasuga-san. Sure, thanks. We'll make it a night to remember! Oh, I even found these wild mushrooms nearby! woo <laughs> A party! A mushroom party! Yay! Oh, we're gonna hallucinate so hard. That, that, that has a, what, that had a hint of, oh, rats. One Final Fantasy game has a jingle where if you go to the end of sleep, and at the beginning of that kind of sound like that, I was like, uh, either seven or ten, I don't remember which one. Oh, well, I guess I conked out after the party. Man, what a night. Oh, crap, what's going on with Chi-Chan and them? Are they waiting for me? I better give them a call. Oh, hey Ichiban. What's up? Chishan. Hi. Sorry. A lot's happened. And long story short, I'm over at a resort called the Dunko the Dunko Island right now. The do what? You're not making any sense. I know, I just wanted to give you a heads up. Now it's gonna take some time to get back. Oh, okay, no worries. I'm gonna need a few more days, my a few more days myself to finish editing the video. You are? Huh, didn't think it'd take that long. I mean, we want this video to take over the internet, right? So we're gonna need some damn good editing to spruce it up and really sell it. Anyway, don't feel bad about taking this time to kick back and relax. Or er, what was it? The Don't Go Island? I'll reach out once I'm done. Gotcha. I'll leave it in your hands, then no pressure. Well, I guess she'll be finished for a few more days, so I, I'll i just take it easy and look around the alley for now. Let me guess, we're gonna find the people dumping the trash and we're gonna beat them up. Sheesh, this place is seriously a dump. Makes a lot more sense now, but I still feel bad for them, for the island too. I do want to repay them for letting me stay. Maybe I can do something about this trash. But where do I start? I never handled garbage like this before. Don't want to make things worse. Hehehe, <laughs> might not be the way, but hey, it's my way. Alright, you could break trash with the bat, hold down, hold the bat, swing, equip the bat, make a dash, hold. Okay. <laughs> Takes care of this spot, at least. Good morning, Kasuga-san! Wow! Just look at this place! Did you clean this all by yourself? Yeah, I just wanted to thank you for yesterday. Not every day I get the resort treatment. At least I can do. Hey, hey! Talk about spiffy! What? How did you get rid of the trash? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't too sure what to do, so... Smashed it with this. <laughs> You're a wild man! <laughs> Maybe a little, huh? 
Amazing. With you around, Kasuga-san, we just might set things right. <laughs> well, well. Ain't this a sight? So you got rid of our little gifts, did ya? What's wrong? Not up to snuff? Hey, these the guys you were talking about? They're wannabe pirates. You guessed it. They're the ones responsible for this mess. Waste disposal deviants, the washbucklers. That guy there, that's their boss, Fukuyama. But to his boys, he's Dread Pirate Hook. Er, come on, Mateyoshi. Deviants is a little strong, don't you think? Unless you want to get smacked around again. Huh? Go on, pick a pile. I'm sure you'll fit right in. <laughs> huh? Who's this loser? Out of the way. I happen to be a guest here, and I gotta be honest with you, pal. You're really killing my vacation time. Ha! Ah! You're staying in this trash heap. What are you, stupid? Yes. <laughs> this place is a shite hole. And a big one of that, I mean. Shite hole. Really, just look at it. We're doing it a favor. In fact, I think we ought to be rewarded for it, eh? That's some high and mighty talk. Only hole I see is your mouth. Excuse me? This island you're spitting on's their treasure. And I'm looking to kick your asses clean off of it. Ah, says the lone wolf. All right, mates. You know the drill. It's composting time. Well, I'm not alone. Oh, wait. Wait, what? After equipping the bat, press X. Wait, what? What? Wait, I was going to do a pound mate or something. This... The battle I, is on. Uh, 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 we're playing Monster Hunter. Get lost, will ya? Ah, you're pretty good. Wow, he's strong. All right, fine. I'll let you off the hook today. But know this, you. And Matayoshi, this whole rock, your days are numbered. I was expecting a battle to get to a pound mate. Thank you so much, Kasuga-san. Seems you've saved me once again. Be straight with me. Do they always do this? Yes, though I'm used to it now. I tell you, Kasuga-san, if only I was as strong as you. Maybe then I'd protect myself. Protect this island. <sighs> ah, sorry. Guess I dampened the mood again. For all it means to us, this island really isn't much. You'll be going home soon, I take it. If so, allow me to see you off. Actually, I'm gonna stick around. Huh? I kind of picked a fight, you know? Those feathers look pretty ruffled. If I had to guess, they'll be back. And knowing that, I'll be here to stop them. Hey now, last thing you need to do is feel responsible. Besides, it's like I said, there's nothing left. What's there to save? Well, here's a thought. Why not just build stuff? What? I you said so yesterday, right? This place is supposed to be a resort. So, first, Get rid of the trash. From there, get some fun facilities or whatever up and running. And finally, you crawl your way back up. Think about it. There's nowhere to go but up. And from what I've seen, this place is more than capable. I got no patience for pirates. And besides, I really like it here. So how about it? We'll crawl back up together. Kasuga-san. We will. Thank you so much. Kasuga-san, the wild man! <laughs> I'll say! Wilder than wild, huh? Well, I guess we're doing this. Alright, so I did say I'd help restore this place, but uh, you guys got some kind of goal in mind? 
Uh, goal, you say? Yeah, uh, I think it'd be easier to go about things if you guys had clear-cut vision. You know, rather than trying to restore things all willy-nilly. Oh, I see. Actually, there is an old dream. <clears throat> oh, yeah? What about this? For the stars, get funding to build a five-star resort in your dreams. What's all this about? C. A government-backed group called the Resort and Tourism Association is running this camp here campaign. As long as you meet their criteria, the association will grant some funding. Wow. Damn. That's basically what we you need right now, isn't it? So, what do we gotta do? Well, quite a few things, actually. But the two main criteria are popularity and satisfaction. What's that mean for us? Yes. Well, popularity is pretty straightforward. You get people to like the island. The more popular it gets, the more visitors we'll receive, and our island becomes popular enough, folk will be able to get our name out there. Satisfaction's a quintessentive uh, measure that represents how pleased the guests are with the island. We can build facilities or furnish the island to improve overall satisfaction. If it's too low, there's no way we'll be acknowledged by the association. In short, if both popularity and satisfaction are high enough, we can pass the evaluation and receive funding. So that's how this works. I had no clue. The association rates res rates resorts anywhere from one to five stars. Five stars being the highest rating a resort can earn. And someday I'd love for the Don't Go Island to be a five star resort as well. <laughs> that sounds doable. We'll just gotta work hard and aim for five stars. So, uh, how many stars do you guys have right now? Zero. Naturally. We haven't even been acknowledged. <sighs> yeah, I should have figured. Let's try aiming for one star for now. Well, it's, what's it gonna take to get there? Hmm, this much I'd wager. I need to get a thousand satisfaction, 700 popularity, and clear out the entrance to the Great Tree. Alright, time for a boost in popularity and satisfaction. One star rating, here we come. <laughs> Yay, that's a go, a go, go! So, if we gain popularity and raise satisfaction, we just have to build things and install them, right? Right. But there's not much on this island aside from trash and the like. I don't even have money. Uh, I don't even have money or girlfriend. That's totally irrelevant. Uh, if we don't even have money to buy furnishings, we'll just have to make it ourselves. There's plenty of wood stones, so why not you, you use them to craft them? Why not use them as materials to craft something new? Oh yeah, speaking of materials, when I was cleaning up trash and breaking it down, I found some parts that could come in handy. Maybe we can even maybe we can make even more things with these too. <laughs> Reusing trash as crafting materials to build new furnishings. How eco-friendly. So sustainable. Sounds feasible to me. I'm big in DIY myself, you know. Let's do it. Cool, I'll gather some materials then. The beach over there has some things that can be used as raw materials. Follow me, I'll show you. Oh, wow, well, I guess we're playing Animal Crossing this episode. I have a feeling this is where most of my money is going to come from. Let's start with the basics. Wood and stone. The ones that look like this can be broken with a bat. Let's go find some stone trees in this area. Break them down, then bring them back five wood logs and five stones. In the meantime, I'll go prep what we need to get started with DIY. Once you're done gathering materials, come see me at the DIY stand. <laughs> and find me a girl from where you're at. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh man, me and you. You're looking for girlfriends. I know how it feels. Everyone just... Yep. He's lonely. Gathering resources. With your trusty bat, you can smash junk piles, trees, and rocks to gather resources for your DIYs. Collect cloth, iron, plastics, glass, and semiconductors from junk piles, and naturally collect wood from trees and stones from rocks. Remember to grab those resources as they do crop up every day. So yeah, kind of like Final Fantasies. Somebody! Hey! Alright, let's see what my bat. Uh. Yeah. I'm shocked this bat is good enough to hit rock and break it. Nope, I'm gonna keep doing this. 
We're collecting all of it. Oh, wait. Change the music. <laughs> Alright, that's actually nice. So I should get more so I can listen to sock music here. This song actually is a really good beat. <laughs> There you are, Kazuka song. Did you find me any potential friends? <sighs> How about a rock? I've gathered plant materials. Thank you so much. Excellent. I finished preparing everything in my end too. So let's get to the DIY. I just noticed before I hit this. Do I have a bunch of materials that I start the game with? Because I got the. I think I do. I've never done this before though. Not a problem. It's simple. Better to, to get some hands-on experience than watch and learn, I say. First, let's just try making something. How to DIY. You can use materials you collected to create DIY furnishings. By creating your own furniture, you can gain building experience, which will improve your building talent. More building experience can be gained when making new furnishing item for the first time. The greater your building talent, the more types of DIY furnishing you'll be able to create. In other words, as long as you keep up the good work, uh, keep working at it, you can learn how to make new things in the future. That one will do. Yeah. yeah. Where do I put this? Like this? Perfect. I can't believe this is the first time you've ever done DIY. You're quite skilled in your hands, Kazuka-san. Now let's install your creation on the island, Kazuka-san. It can be relocated or removed later, so 
Let's not worry about too much where to put it for now. And just place it in the spacious gotcha. area over there. Gotcha. Music. Kick it. Never mind. Now try placing it around here. Okay, decking out the island. Select furnishings. Furnishing items from your inventory directly by pressing Y or the select button to place them with edit mode. The more you decorate the and enrich your island, the more popular and satisfying it becomes. You can get more furnishing from the uh, Mayatoshi or the from Mayatoshi or the crafting DIYs. Okay. Oh, I think I'm starting to get it now. If you craft the items and place them somewhere. The guests will find the island more satisfying. If it's satisfying, it'll become more popular. Exactly. The more things we have to offer, the more satisfying and popular the island will be. But we're going to need a lot more materials. Once we meet the criteria for satisfaction and popularity, the associ association will send someone in, in uh, from the uh, resort review board to conduct an evaluation. If we pass, we'll rank up from no stars to one star resort. Right. Here. There are the specific conditions the review board's laid out for the one star resort. Clearing out an area? What's that mean? What well, sounds like you, you clear out the area of trash and debris so people can walk it around. For example, see all that garbage over there in that area? It's been neglected for so long that's contaminated the soil and smells like rot. We can't place anything there as it is, stands. The only thing you can do is slowly clear trash from the area and have construction work clear the soil. But once the site's clear, we can place things there and use it however we like. Makes sense. But who's going to do all the construction work? Well, Craftsman and Kenzo used to live here, but he left the moment he was out of the job. I'll reach out and ask him. But Kenzo-san goes where the money is, so... We'll need a hefty lump sum prepared by him. <sighs> and I'll consult the money, huh? Guess I could help pay out of my pocket. One second. Are you talking about dollars? Yen? Some virtual coin? Because the only currency accepted here is doko bucks. Hmm? Is that real money? As real as it gets, it's the official currency of the Doko Island. But I suppose you don't have any on you, do you, Kazuka-san? Here, take this. Nothing good about being broke after all. You received 10,000 doko bucks. As long as you have the doko bucks, you can go to Kenzo-san with a request or buy any materials or furniture you need from my shop. Mayotisha. Mayo Mayotasha. I've got a daily clearance section up there, so swing by and check it out every day for a new deal. Okay, Mata Yoshia. Mata Yoshia. Mata Yoshia is a Dodoka Island's very own uh, general store. Here you can buy furnishing and sell specialty items for, uh, yeah, and, and sell specialty items to the owner, Mata Yoshi. Also, furniture that Kazuga has made, bef made before can be purchased here as well. In addition, there are exclusive Mata uh, Shio furnishings. That can only be bought here. The store's inventory will expand as the the Donko Island Resort rank increases as well. Whew. In the daily furniture corner, a selection of furnishings items will be up for sale every day and can be bought with at a discount price. Sometimes rare furnishings will be included in this lineup, so be sure to stop by and check these deals. It's his island. Why do I have to buy it from him? As the island develops, you can unlock special facilities such as chicken coops from exclusive Matayoshia furnishings. Once you place these facilities, you can start collecting items from these specific specialties areas where near the... All right. Okay. As nice as it would be to have everything for free here, that would leave the island's economy in shambles. No worries, I get it. I can earn the money myself, but uh, how exactly can I do that? Get more the donko bucks or whatever. The best way is to assist, assist with the donko dailies. Every, oh my god, we have dailies. Every day tasks can be completed on the island as well as collection requests we can keep in the suggestion box. In return for completing these requests, the island's rewarded with a large amount of the donko bucks. 
think about some kind of part-time job. Oh boy. To make any transaction on Dodoko Island, you'll need the island's currency, Dodoko Box. Complete Dodoko dailies and suggestion box requests to earn do 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 Dodoko Box. Dodoko dailies are missions that update every day. The suggestion box contains mission accomplished in stages where you fill the sender's request. These can be checked in the Dodoko Island menu by press and select. Oh, jeez. You can also make the Doko bucks from selling unwanted furnishings or specialties through M Matashia's ba buyback service. Or those specialties, I mean. Anything you harvest or collect in the island, like mushrooms, shellfish, and even fish and insects. They can all be sold in exchange for Doko bucks. If you can manage to collect a lot of sp sp specialties, will start to become famous for them. And you know what that means? A rise of popularity. Just try collecting them all. Gathering specialties. You can find and record, uh, find a record of all specialties discovered in Dodoko Island, such as shells, mushrooms, ores, fish, and bugs in Dodokopedia. Note that as you fill it out, the specialties will grow more po more popularity, raising both the renown and the selling value. This, of course, will bring Dodoko Island fame and recognition. Holy cow. Ooh, uh, a tutorial right now. Huh, sounds fun, actually. But catching and fishing reminds me of my childhood. I bet there's all sorts of things to collect, considering all the nature on this island. Then I hope you enjoy yourself. Here, they're a bit worn out, but now you've got a harpoon for fishing and your very own bug net. Try swapping out your bat to use them. Harpoon and net. Okay, fishing and bug catching. On the Dogo Island, bugs and fish are considered local specialties, and you're Free to catch both using your tools. Fishing uses harpoon left. Yep, that's, yep. Okay. Bring out the bug net and be careful not to get too close. Some insects will run away. Okay. Okay, okay so I just have to get rid of the garbage, gather materials, and collect all kinds of specialties. Right. A pleasure to work with you, Kazuka san. Yay, we're back to music. All right, that song is over. See what we got. Red traffic cone. You got your beam. This one just came in. How about this one? This one just came in. How about this one? Thank you very much. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. Hello, Kaskasan. Hello. You got your feet. Oh yeah, I got mushroom. And great horn. That's a really good sell price. Cicada. Can I capture you, you weird thing? Nice. Yes. If I build a bridge here, we'll be able to get to the forest, but I better increase our resort rank first. Oh, there's gold rocks over there, too. I must be fast travel. I have no idea what's happening in this song. Sedan. I got a map. Silver T Tiara.
Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nice. You caught a jellyfish. Okay, okay. Nice. All right, got a tiger prom. I think that's everything. There it is. I'm blind. Ooh, a silver chirper. Okay, it just ends. Welcome back, Kazuga-san. How are you liking the Don't Go Island so far? This place is great. There's so much nature everywhere you look. Once all the trash gets cleared, I think this island will be a hit resort. Good to hear. Some of the bridges on this island may be broken, but there are plenty of other great spots to visit. Okay. Nice, looking forward to seeing them. By the way, what are you doing all day, Matoshi? Matoshi. <laughs> I was busy preparing something for you, Kazuki san. A present, actually. Take a sip of coffee, mm -hmm. here we go. Really, really? Huh. Of course, now feast your eyes on this. Oh, you fixed the cabin. Huh? Oh, man. The whole house? Are you sure? Sure than sure, my lot, anything in my life. I do appreciate your help, Kazakh son. You've been nothing but cooperative since you got here. Please accept this gift. Sorry, it's a little worn down. It's the best piece of, pro of this a property on this island so far. It's completely empty inside, so feel free to do whatever you want with it. Decorate with your favorite furnishings, or just plop as many things in there you like. The more you furnish your place, the more you'll feel like home. Nothing beats feeling at home. Here, you can relax and recuperate after a long day of work. Wow, thank you, seriously. Guess I'll take up in your offer and make this place my own. Also, there's been some trouble uh, arranging you back. Uh, also, there's been some trouble arranging you. Yeah, arranging you a way back to Hawaii. Preparations won't be ready until the morning after tomorrow. I'm sorry this is happening and during such a busy time. I hope you don't mind spending a few more days here on the island. Not at all. Not much we can do about it now anyway. Just let me know when everything's ready. For now, I'll just get some shut eye in this fine house. Apologies for all the trouble. Here, I've got something else for you. Take this. You got a nightlight. Mm -hmm. What's this? A light to help you explore at night. The Donko Island's full of nature, which means it gets very dark very quickly. This will be light your path. If only a bit. Hopefully it proves to be useful. Thanks. Good to know. Thanks for this, then. Just keep in mind, if you're out late exploring, you might feel exhausted the next day. If you're tired, it's a good idea to head home early and get some rest. Got it. Gotcha. I'll be careful. See ya. Good. All right, then. Good night, Kazuka-san. See you tomorrow. Oh wow, the place looks really nice inside. So this is my new home. Sure, there's nothing here, but it's always awesome how spacious this place is. 
I'm gonna fill this pl space with all kinds of things to really make this place feel like home sweet home. The importance of liv uh, of a livable space. Furnishing the inside of Kazuka's home will help pr improve its livability. As livability increases, so will Kazuka's health, making it harder for enemies to defeat him. The greater livability, the better shape Kazuka will be the next day as well. When Kazuka is in tip-top form, he will be able to gather more resources. Note that once his HP reaches zero, it will cost a doko box to get patched up. Changing up your room decor. Press select. Okay. For now, I guess I'll turn night. Ending the day. End your day by checking out the calendar in your home and heading to bed. The later you go to bed, the less health you recover. If your health doesn't look too good, consider calling a day early. Okay. I'm curious. How dark does it get out here? <clears throat> because there has to be, like, special bugs and all that, right? It's summer all year round here on the Doko Island, you see? I wonder if we could make a fortune selling shaved ice. Maybe an ice maker would hike up the electric bill too much. Flutter. Are there any fish out at night? There are. Bye. Got ya. Gotcha. A porcupine fish. I'm gonna have to sell some of these, especially the gold one. Oh. If the gold one actually nice. costs that much, I will oh, mash sell it just a bank. Uh, I missed. <laughs> I'll head to bed after this. Nice. All right. A man running with a fishing spear. How deadly. All right. Now let's actually call it a day. Cause, like they said, you want. Yes. Sounds just like it. All right, day two. Now that everyone's here, let's get started with the morning assembly. We have the rule to we have this rule to hold the morning uh, assembly first thing in the morning and go over what our plans for the day were. And if we have any visitors, we discuss how to keep them satisfied. Well... Not that we have any accommodations for them right now. We can't invite any guests just yet. But it'd be real nice if we could invite them someday soon. That way, the economy can thrive. Alright, let's get started. Today, I'd like to introduce you all to New Island Resident. Hmm? A new uh, resident. Right, here he is, in the flesh, Kenzo-san. Eh, been a while. <laughs> Kenzo-san, I heard you left the island for some other place. I'm so happy you're back. Who is this? Why? Only the best craftsman in the world. Kenzo-san's even got experience as a carpenter and a construction worker. Indeed! He's going to be handling all site clearing, repairs, and infrastructure staff stuff here. Impressive. So this guy's like 
Matoshi-san. So this is the guy he was talking about yesterday. Yes, yes, yes. Don't get me wrong, I don't hate this island, but I can't put food at the table without a job. It was a tough decision, but I got a call from Matoshi yesterday saying he was going to rebuild the island, so I booked it back here as soon as I heard it. <laughs> oh, how noble of you. So, you're Kazuga-san. Matoshi's told me about you. You're going to help us whip this island ship, right? Thanks for that. Name's Kenzo. When it comes from infrastructure, I'm your guy. I still got things set up, though. I'm still gotta get things up, so, though. So let's talk shop tomorrow. Okay. All right. Cool. Glad to have you on board. With Kenzo-san here, we'll be able to clear out any contaminated areas. All right, but how do I ask him for his help? Clearing a site can be done anytime as long as you've got the money. But the more blue the area is, the more it'll cost. Mm. And considering how trash the island is right now, it's gonna cost a fortune. Hey, I'm not trying to rip you off here. The more fluid the place, the more tools and vehicles are gonna need to be clean. That's just facts. But if you destroy the trash and clear the area a bit by bit every day, there'll be less work for Kenzo san, and that'll lower the cost for him to clear that site. Just use your best judgment to decide when the best time to clear the area based off your current budget. Okay, here we go. Clean up to fix up the island. When you request a site clearing, the area will be cleared of trash and ready for development. Clearing out contaminated areas will require doko boxes as well as building talent, which increases as you craft DIYs. Note that the cost of the request to site clearing can be lowered by clearing the area of trash yourself and improving the island's cleanliness. You can check the amount of building talent and the doko box required for site clearing from the map or in the menu or at the signs near contaminated areas. You may also place a site clearing request at any of the same signs. Okay, so basically I should save my money and destroy the trash until I get to the point where I can ask Kenzo's son to clear the area for me. Yes, exactly. If you want to put uh, in a request for a site, you can do so at this sign in each area. I recommend starting with the entrance first, since it's close by and more affordable. Another thing, if you ever want to improve your bat or bug net, come see me. I can upgrade it for you for a price. Got it. Sounds good. I mean, I use my bat pretty much every day, so an upgrade wouldn't be a bad idea. I'll drop by once I scrounge up enough money. Kenzo the Carpenter. Talk to Kenzo at Matayoshia if you're looking to upgrade your tools, if you want to expand your home or purchase additional lodgings. Then work on your home's livability. Because if you improve livability, then Kenzo will approach you about more expansions. Okay. Kenzo can upgrade your tools for bright price. Upgrading the bat and bug net will increase swing speed, and upgrading the harpoon will increase the target's aiming speed. Each of these tools can be upgraded at least four times. If you have enough to doko bucks to spare, it'd be your best interest to get these enhanced to max. Now then, let's go over today's workload and some other details. Let's do our best today. Good morning, everybody. Let's do our best to make the doko a thing of beauty, you hear? Let's have fun today! Real exciting stuff, you see? Alright, we can't do that. Check the current happenings. Alright. View the map. Okay. Alright, let's begin. All right, everyone, let's make the most go, 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 go. Hey. Clear this place out as much as possible. is this going to cost? It is going to cost me... Oh, I need uh, more building talent. You know what? I think that's what I'll focus on today. Build a little. 
All right, let's do some DIY. Let's do some furnishings. I love how hard he goes just to build a plant. Brand spanking new. All right, let's build a bookshelf. Where do I put this? Sake bottle case. Brand spanking new. Where do I put this? Brand spanking new. Now, where do I put this? I'd say I outdid myself. Brand spanking new. Now, where do I put this? I'd say I outdid myself. Janai, bus stop, antenna, repair, so, oh, yeah. Now, where do I put this? Sell these, I get the doko box. Darn, I was hoping to get money, money. This one just came in. Ooh. This one just came in. Hope to see you again soon. That is actually a really good idea. While I'm doing this, we can finally listen to the radio shows that I've been skipping. Alright, here we go. No, no, no. Yes. Sun up or sun down, it's your favorite Howley, Mike Hula, for another episode of Seg Waves. Kicking things off with some good news. Everybody give a warm aloha. Our very own DJ PP Stew is returned from the land of the rising sun. Hey, that's right, brother. Took a trip out to visit my cousin Takeshi, and now I'm back. Top knot and all. Nice. <laughs> and that reminds me, we've got fans all across the globe. So to all of our Japanese fans out there, this one's for you. Hey, man, to that cuz. I got a lot of love for the JP. Oh, first off, the food out there is as good as they say. The curry? Oh, oh, no. I was all over Tokyo. Island boy in the big city. Uptown, downtown, underground, malls, temples, the parks, back alleys, front alleys, you name it. You know, PP, the one time I was in Japan, Japan back in the 80s, it was a lot of real estate flying around and changing hands. You know, not that I was in the middle of it or anything. I was actually on a huge budget, but uh, good thing I wasn't on a huge diet, because one of the things that stuck out to me was the fast food. 
way better than the States, or at least the mainland. Service, quality, presentation. Tell me I'm not crazy here, Peepy. -pee. Uh, I don't know, Mike. The portion size over there. Oh, I gotta order the same thing three times just to get full. Well, then why not just order three different things? Ah, figure of speech, Howley. Oh, I'm yanking you, buddy. Anyway, you had to have tried some fast food over there. So what do you recommend for all our listeners out there? Where was it you were staying there, uh... Camarocho? Oh, I was all over the place, man, buddy. Camarocho. I'd say I outdid myself. For fast food, it was between Wild Jackson, Wet Kitchen, and Smile Burger. Yeah, I remember Smile Burger. Brand spanking new. Wet Kitchen's newer. It's like Smile Burger, but uh, that's on the menu, at least in terms of food. Plenty of soup and iced tea, though. Hold on, wait a minute. Are you saying this is not a food? I'd say I outdid myself. If you don't chew it, it's a drink. Brand spanking like new. Beer, don't it? Yeah, it's true. Fair enough, I guess. Anyway, Wild Jackson's known for their chicken. Last time I checked, it's all breaded, so I don't say I asking for my grilled. Oh, and apparently they did a collab with Wet Kitchen a few years back. Did they? What do they call it, though? Wet this? and wild combo? See oh. what I did there? Wet Kitchen, Wild Jackson, Wet and Wild. I see where your brain's at, brother. This <laughs> is fast food. New. Now whatever sick fantasy you're dreaming of. Hold on a second. What's wrong with Wet and Wild? Ah, uh, now, one place I tried to go was New York Hot Dog. I looked everywhere for the entrance, but oh, somehow I couldn't find it. I, I say guess I that's just Camarocho myself. for you. Well, maybe only the locals know it. Oh, hey, speaking of locals, Cousin Pete introduced me to all kind of people out east. Real colorful cast, cuz. Oh, take the mama of New Serena, for instance. It's a bar out on one of the main streets. Hold on. The mama? Isn't your mama? <laughs> yeah, she is. Right. Mad love Thank to you. the lady who raised me straight from the pot, mama. Love you, eh? But no, I'm talking the lady who ran the bar. Couldn't understand the word she said, but oh, she had a good vibe, man. Made all pee, pee feel right at home. Which, of course, begs the question, is there an Where do I old this? Serena? I don't know. Maybe they left it in old Japan. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? Last I checked, all of Japan was old. Hey. All of it. Hey, the you whole would know. country. You would know, brother. <laughs> Been a long time since your disco days, huh, Big Mike? <laughs> well, I can't deny that. Listen, who doesn't like a little dance fever? Anyway, so who else did you uh, did you meet when you were out there? Oh, well, the thing about Cousin T is he knows everybody. And I mean everybody. First night we were there, he introduced me to his pal Yokozuna Bill. King of the underground. Ooh. You thought I was a big boy. Oh, this guy could fit me in his sock. You know, I, I'm thinking I'd have to see that to believe it, but I'm I'm just going to go ahead and believe it. Hey, I'm not that big, brother. Okay, so what happened was... Hey, they, well, you're hey. bigger than me. <laughs> a lot of poi, bro. So what happened was they took me down to watch these crazy fights, man. Real underground st stuff. And let me tell you, some of these contestants made even 20 stories high. 500 pounds of pressure bill look like you and me. Real? No kidding. <laughs> Cause no lie. There were all kind of nut gotcha. jobs down there. Butchers, assassins, evil clowns, even tigers and bears. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. <laughs> You're getting in trouble, nice. huh? I'm serious. Takechi said this stuff is par for the court. Mm. Week to week, gotcha. back to back. Like when video games come to life. And what a thrill, too. A lot of people don't know this, but Peace 2 loves video games, cuz. Probably raised on them. Oh, yeah? Well, you were in the right place then. And how? Kenny and I hit up this place called Charles. Had all the classics Super Gunman, Game Changer, or Pyramid, even those Decor Ocean Capsule Machines. Oh, man, you know I love a good desk toy. I got you on here. Oh. Why, thank you. I didn't get you anything. It's all right, Bryce. It's all right. You know what? I'll buy beer later on. Hey, that sounds like a deal. I like it. Hey, tell me about it. Like a flea market over there, huh? Well, well it's that time again for any first-time listeners out there. That's the cue for P and I to wrap up our episode and... Talk story, cuz. Talk story, cuz, indeed. We'll be continuing with more of our hometown Hawaiian heroes' big trip to Japan on the next episode in part two of what we're calling... Home going places, but in the meantime, hit us with the good stuff, Mike. Okay, now, gee, you've been having your adventures over in Japan land, but I gotta tell you about this kid I met when he was gone. Made some 
wheel waves of his own about town. So he splash. Yeah, so there I am, all right? It's about 6 a.m. or so. I'm sipping the morning coffee down at the harbor like I always do. Early bird, Mike, as they sometimes say. Early bird? Dude, I went to bed like three hours earlier. Anyway, no word of introduction, no context. He comes up to me and he says, excuse me, do you know a place where sailors hang out? Sailors? Yeah, sailors. Sailors. So I'm like, I don't, I don't know, I don't have any clue, but maybe there's a, you know, we're by the harbor, so maybe that's a good place to ask around. Okay, okay, all right. All right, so lo and behold, the kid turns around and immediately asks the 10 or 12 people down the line, bouncing from one to the other like a pinball, where are their sailors? Where are their sailors? Have you seen sailors? Nice. Has anybody seen sailors? And I'm like, enough of the sailors already. You're in a Wait. harbor. They're around uh, here somewhere. Oh, Hum Hum. Oh, kid was probably What's lost or something. What's the name of that know, fish? More like he was a mission of some sort. I mean, you should have seen him. He had this leather jacket on, this big tiger emblem on it, real slick. That's not even the half of it. A couple days later, I'm over gotcha. at Hip Hop Shrimp, wolfing down the usual. There's the kid. That's right, there's the kid. Except this time, he's asking about a gotcha. warehouse. I think he found his sailors. I don't know, but maybe they keep the sailors in the warehouse, so I don't know. Nice. He was too busy looking for some dumpy warehouse this time, so he asked every person on the street in about two minutes flat, just bam, bam, bam. Bam, 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 gotcha. like 50 plus people. Where is the warehouse? Well, it sounds like the kid gets around. I know. Nice. And that's not even the worst part. You know that alley behind my house? Get out of here. So I'm back grilling one night a couple days later, and there he is. Ho, oh, Tiger Jacket strikes again. Yeah, there I am. Steaks about the sizzle. Picturesque Hawaiian sunset. Most beautiful pale blue and orange skyline you ever saw. And drinking hand and getting ready to hoist it and then whoosh this kid comes galloping up the street full sprint with the most heroic stride this side of the red white and blue oh like he's not a what will it be today <laughs> got every be. single one of my neighbors up with questions about how he can hitch a boat ride out east and then where can he get a boat ride out east and the next thing i see he's beelining straight for me again oh sounds like he got a lot of time on his hands <laughs> it sure does you know you know we got airplanes out here i would imagine so but maybe he hey, doesn't a rare frankly, one. at this point i was so scared i dove into my pool to hide aloha shirt slippers and all oh you crazy mike look it was quite a flight nice. this kid was a force of nature scared the living you know what out of me way too intense for this old Burbank original you know what i'm saying yeah sounds like it cuz oh hope he made it back to the mainland yeah let's hope because uh kid uh, if you're listening best of luck from me and big p got you find what you're looking for and stay away from my house yeah stay away from mike <laughs> Oh, the radio show's interesting. Aloha Kakahiaka. Aloha Avakea. Aloha Awaninala. <laughs> Awinala? That. Mike, Awinala. Well, he said Awinala. <laughs> Aloha Ahi Ahi. And for everyone in between <laughs> or who just don't have a watch, <laughs> Aloha. <laughs> That's right, everybody. It's time for Segwaves with your hosts. I'm Mike Hallsberg, better known around the world as Mike Hula. Or Mike Howley, if you're yours truly. Yours truly being a fine gentleman by the name of Stuart Okunui. But seeing as he's both the DJ and an unparalleled cook, we just call him DJ Kiki Stew. I'm the beef and the broth rata. <laughs> and plenty to go around, if you know what I'm saying. Big fat is cooked fresh every day. And we love you for it, buddy. Now let's get things back up to speed for those of you tuning in. This will be part two of our big welcome back for Big P. Nihon going places. Nihon been there, done that. Plus a bag of chips and a t-shirt. Now, the stage is yours, Peepy. What else you do out there in Tokyo? Um, I talk about Millennium Tower yet. Millennium Tower. Millennium Tower. What is what is Millennium Tower? Ah, oh, cause it's a sight. Beautiful view of the whole city. Oh, my cherry, bro. Took the elevator all the way to the top. Tokyo's got a couple of towers these days, right? Yeah, they do, but this one is special. Some real crazy history there, brother. Guess the top floor has been blown up like twice. Ba-boom, bro. Oh, okay, and it's in uh, Kamurocho. Yeah, can't miss it, Mikey. It's a behemoth. Hey, that's news to me. Back when I was there, discotheques and nightclubs were the hot commodity. No skyscrapers or anything and they certainly weren't blowing up yeah and get this first time the fireworks hit it started raining in hallelujah Hello. Hello.
Oh, actually, that's way better. Actually, it's the stupidest thing. Ah, uh, we'll put it on this wall. I don't know my dailies. I mean, I guess I can keep crafting. <laughs> Silver flutter. Gotcha. Nice. Got a salmon. Gotcha. Nice. Do they all go to bed at night? No. Now, where do I put this? Brand spanking new. I'd say I outdid myself. Now, where do I put this? tired bug right now.
Um, what? <laughs> hmm? Someone's in a good mood. What's up, Muka? Muku? Oh, what you got there? Indeed! <laughs> this here is a Tanuki statue I bought with a secret stash of money, you see. I thought it boosted overall satisfaction if I decorated the idol with it. Just trying to help you out, you know? <laughs> so, what do you think? Isn't it stunning? Doesn't it feel right, uh, right in your face, right here in the middle of the plaza? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Even though it's kinda in the way. Good morning, everyone. Let's get this morning assembly started. Let's keep aiming for our first star by doing DIY projects, placing them around, and improving the island's satisfaction today. Let's make it a good day, huh? Good morning, everyone. Let's do our best to make the Doko Island a thing of beauty here. Okay, let's see. Let's make the most of today. All right. Popularity is still not 700. Satisfaction is still not 1,000. We're working on it. Right. Okie dokie, don't go da go. Oh, guys, guys, there's trouble. Hmm? What's wrong, Kenzo san? Wash bucklers, that's what. What? Huh? Aren't they the crappy waste disposal company that keeps Oi. harassing us? A oh, crappy waste disposal company, you say. Just jam my heart out, why don't ya? Dread Pyro Hook, why are you here? Looking for another fight? I'll take you on any time. Oh no, no. Freud I ain't the type to get my own hands dirty, you see. I'll have to pass foot to die. I'm just here to declare war. You're doing what? You heard me. This year rocks are done. You lot are putting too much effort to restore it the way it was. That's getting to be a pain in our ass. Because of this island's cleared up, well, I'm not that we're gonna dispose of our waste then. This was never this was never your personal landfill in the first place. The Don't Go Island is a special place we hold dear in our hearts. I won't let you have your way with it. <laughs> All right, all right. Don't get your knickers in a twist. But for God's sake, it's much cleaner last time I was here. Why, you even put up a little fancy thing like this. Uh-oh. If you'll keep up hard work, maybe this trash heap will really be restored to its former resort glory. But not while I'm around. Ah! Ah, my Tanoki statue! You bastard! You bastard, what the hell is that for? Won't you listen to mine? I said this whole rock is our landfill. And if you won't get rid of our trash, then you'll... We'll just have to get rid of you. Piece of trash! You fast start dream resort is damn near impossible. And you do well to remember that. Eh. Keep your ass beer, Don Bozos. I'm gonna send my money to groves. Have fun, they're not the type to play nice. Meet you later! Until then, I hope you cut uh, you like come around. Ah, uh -huh. My my Tanuki! It's okay, Muku. Feels like nothing's changed at all. Even back when the island was bustling, they still came and dumped their garbage and destroyed the lodgings. No matter how much effort put in, it's all moot when they got us check. Now they're back at it again. I won't step for any longer. This is our island. I can't let them step all over me like that just because I'm afraid of getting hurt. Enough is enough. I'm with you there. We can't keep letting them get away with this. If they're gonna keep shipping their men all our way, they will just send and pack it. That's all there is to it. How are we gonna do that? Leave it to me. Let's just say there's more in my area of expertise than DIY. Anyway, leave it to me. I'll take care of it for you. If you see them around the island, just give me a shout, alright? 
All right. I'm really sorry for dragging you in this one. Last Kazakhstan. We'll do what we can to contribute. So don't go, don't run Kazakhstan ragged. Totally. Thanks. All right, everyone. Don't, don't, don't go a go go. Ugh. My, my Tanuki statue. Oh, behind us. Beware of pirate attacks. The washbucklers will now attack the Don't Go Island. While you battle them, some functions will become unusable, such as edit mode. Once you drive them away with your trusty pet, the washbucklers will drop the Doko Bucks in their wake. So it's best to deal with them on the double. I gotta upgrade my bat. Alright, let's make something out today. Oh. Oh, Kazakhstan, have you heard? Delphine is back. Hmm? Uh, who's Delphine? Oh, uh, easier to show you than have me explain. Please follow me to the beach. It's a dolphin, isn't it? I mean, I'm only gonna put two and two together saying it's a dolphin. Miss Delphine, are you Delphine? Ah, there she is. Oh, damn. An actual dolphin? This sweet lady's dolphin? That's right. Lately, she's been traveling the seas. But now that she's finally home, you can take her for a ride back to Hawaii. But wait, did you just say I have to ride a dolphin? Wait, what, what, what's wrong with the boat? Delphine is much faster than your average boat. You're a busy man, Kazuki-san, so I highly recommend catching a ride on her over some dingy vessel. Uh, okay, gotcha. You can always find Delphine here at the Doko Beach, so whenever you're ready to go back to Hawaii, just call for her. <laughs> Got it. Pleasure to meet you, Delphine. You can now take her home. Sweet. Alright, we got some pirates to deal with. Thanks for the doko box. Now let's clear out the trash and get this area ready to be cleared. Beautiful piece of land right there. <laughs> oh, wow, I think that's everything. Incredible, you've done a wonderful job clearing the air, clean the area. Now we'll be able to install things here too. Thanks so much, Kazuka-san. And you too, Kenzo-san. Wow. Now that, now we've got a pretty big space to work with. We can even place larger items than we could before. Yep. Could even construct a small building here if you wanted. The adjacent areas are cleared as well. Then that'll open up even more possibilities. But once the soil's cleared, the amount of trash that accumulates will decrease. So, you'll spend less time picking up trash. Should make daily life a little easier. <sighs> Won't that reduce resources we get though? I don't want there to be less things to make. It'll be fine. You can grab any resources gathered from the cleared areas. Around right, collection point next day, next uh, mat mat uh You'd be shocked. No, I'm getting quite tired. There should be the same amount of resources as you would have collected yourself before the land was cleared, if not more. Convenient, right? Worth checking every day. Daily resource collection. You can now retrieve resources from the collection point next to Matayoshia. 
The amount of resources you obtain will increase as you clear out areas. You can, they can only be collected once a day, though, so no free to swing by. Yeah, that does sound pretty handy. With the collection point around, we'll be able to what, be a one-star point, uh, one-star resort in no time. You're all right, so close. Let's keep up the hard work. Go, 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 go. go. All right. Well, I guess we'll do this area next. Somebody! Oh, let me get my bat out. I'm sorry. Uh, let's get to lower the rank for D, and then uh, we'll clear this area. Now I'll start building. There's a lot of resources here, that's why I'm not immediately just, you know... Hey, what but will it be today? I need to sell an item for you for a daily. So let me sell you a... Here. How about this one? Thank you very much. Detective agency chair. Mm. I'll hold off on that for now. Hey, come to my bath. Oh, jeez, no. Thanks. Oh, no. Come back soon, yeah? Yep. Mm. Hey, a rare one. Oh, nice, a rainbow. Got the bean. Oh, wait, what was that? Oh, I don't know what he said. Honestly, this part of the game is definitely relaxing. Now I got actually to build a resort. This little corner is definitely going to be adjusted. Don't worry. Nice. I'm, not, I'm not the best with layouts, but I will do my best. I'll take that. This? I can put it in my house. <laughs> I just built a gray sedan. That's hilarious. Oh my god, so many things. Do, do. Ooh, 
sleazy. Yeah. Um, park fountain. Um, ooh, that's nice. I'll build that for my little uh, apartment. I'd say I outdid myself. All right, I got that. I'm also gonna get a couch for my apartment. Spanking new. I already got a futon. Yeah, why not? Let's buy, build a jacuzzi. I say I outdid myself. I'm home. My room is a mess at the moment, but I'm working on getting my livability up, and I'll start moving things out of my room. Because I definitely do want to leave a jacuzzi in my room. I actually want to make that. So, you're going to learn something from me, if you're still watching. Because right now, i just been zoning out and doing my own thing. Hey. Yo. Looks like you're doing well. Oh. Hey, Kenzo-san. Your house looks more like a home... Now you've filled all kinds of knickknacks. Starting to feel a little cramped now, don't it? Yeah, sort of. If it weren't, if it were just a little bigger, I could decorate even with even more things. <laughs> Tell you what, how about I do just that? Make it a little bigger. Seriously? That's possible? Sure is. But let me be frank with you for a second. Since this house of yours was built ages ago, it's downright decrepit. If you want me to prove it right now, the best thing to do would be to rebuild it completely. I can clean up the exterior for you, expand the room, it'll cost you a hefty sum of doka bucks, but it ain't a bad deal. So basically a home makeover, huh? Look at it this way. In order to protect this island, you're gonna need more strength. No matter. No better way to make a full recovery than relaxing in a proper home. Yeah, I see the point. I'll think on it. Just so you know, my, my skills, you can leave all your furniture as is, I'll just work around it. If you want me to renovate your home, come see me at Matogia Shah. I bet you it's expensive. Oh my god, look at that house. Pay Kenzo and Doko Bucks and he'll build an extension to Kazuka's home, allowing for more furnishable, furnishable space. Don't forget to deck out his home too, especially since it'll increase Kazuka's health. The exterior of his home can be renovated after adding an extension. Give Do Doko Island a little personal touch and a makeover well right now it looks like we're going for rustic all right let me see Oh, definitely karaoke lounge. Brand spanking new. Alright, I actually gotta do more dailies before the sun goes down. I gotta do some fishing and stuff. I also think after I fish, I'm gonna call it now. He's coming. Feels like I'm playing Resident Evil 4. The giant boss. Ooh, big one. Oh, a spider crab. Alright. Gotcha. Alright, that's fish number two. Nice. Alright. You rank.
ranked up. And that should be three fish. Nice! Alright, flounder. Gotcha! Gotcha! Alright, that, that's that daily. Oh, wait, a popularity. Oh, nice. some mushrooms and I can get more Dodoko bucks. You know, this so far is a pretty relaxing minigame. Probably not the most interesting to watch. I'm wondering if I want to record what I do next time in here or not. I might record it and only show the key scenes maybe? I don't know. I need one more mushroom. Wait, you're the expensive beetle. Nope, oh, never mind, it's just a regular this time. Mugu! Oh, hello, today's another beautiful day, yep. Gotcha! I'm looking for mushrooms. Come on. I got the money. All right. Now we just gotta get more popular. You know what? Let's just put these out now. First things first. I can put this in. Oh, wait. Actually, I have an idea. Did I build the home, right? Can I zoom out? Thank you. Deplatable building. No. Or, no. Yes. We'll do a karaoke lounge. And then what we'll do is we'll put this next to it. Oh yeah, we need a workout complex. And then just because I'll put a car next to it. And what's that building? Oh, it's a clothing store. Oh, wait, I might be getting my first star. Now we my requirements. Oh, all right, let me just do that, that, okay. We just need to, okay, and I better talk to him. I mean, it's not the most beautiful island, but they're the hey, first few rare one. items you get. Alright, let's actually do it. Let's talk to him, and I'm gonna call it. Let me see what the dailies are first. Looks like I got 50,000. I can't find that last mushroom again. There's a cone. A direct, oh, it's a detective chair. Hey, oh. Got your feet! Mushroom, just one mushroom. Where do they grow? I mean, I'm not stupid. I know they grow in shade. It's 
Sorry. I had to pause for a second. Gotcha! Silver Flutter. Aha! Uh -huh. Nice! Did it! All the dailies are done. Now let's just continue doing whatever. Gotcha! Alright, got the fish over here. Alright. Alright, let's talk to him before they close or whatever. What'll it be today? Hey. So we passed all the screening requirements to be a one-star resort. Could you give the resort review board a call? We, we did? I'll have to gather everyone at the main plaza right away and share the good news. Alright, let's head over. Boy, we really did clean up the main plaza. I wonder how long it's been since I've seen it. So nice. Bill Giant Skyscraper, our cabaret club, or anything we want here now. Sky's the limit. Well, well technically, I got a karaoke club. And uh, a gym. We're definitely qualified to be a one star resort, right? Right? Come on, Matoshi Shan. Let's call the resort review board. You got it. Hello. It's been a while, hasn't it, Matoshi san? I would never thought I'd get another request to review Dodoka Island and talk about pleasant surprises. Kazuka, meet the representative of the re resort review board. He wants to evaluate our island back when it was a more bustling place. I never suspected such a beautiful island would fall in the ruins. It was terribly disappointing. But today will be the first evaluation in a long time. If you're able to pull yourselves up from rock bottom, that remains to be seen, though. I assure you my review will be fair and unbiased. Thank you. Appreciate it, sir. I mean, you're still trying to clear out the trash. Hmm. You've done a spectacular job cleaning up this rundown resort in such a short amount of time. We owe all the cows got Oh, shucks. The size of the main plaza, the cleanliness, the level of satisfaction all seem to meet standards. Excellent. Truly excellent. I hereby acknowledge the Donka Island as a one-star resort. Yeah! We did it! We're certified! New exclusive Matiyoshi furnishings are available. Place these on your iron. Small, burnable waste dump. Oh. <laughs> We did it! Indeed! We finally taken the first step back forward. Right on. Still got ways to go before we were five stars. So let's keep at it. And here are the promised funds for the res resort review board. Put them in good use. It's so weird that he even gives us our currency. To be recognized as a two-star resort. Here are the conditions to fulfill. Please make sure these are your next goals. Alright, alright. Clear the lighthouse and the hills. Alright, I'll probably do lighthouse first. Okay. Now then, if you excuse me. Thank you very much. Glad we could earn that star without any major hiccups. It's all thanks to you, kasuka -san. Words cannot possibly describe how much I appreciate your help. Please, take this. Oh! Oh! Ooh! Hmm? Actual American dollars? Not the Doko box? Well, you can only spend the Doka box here on this island, but this is a mere token of my gratitude, Kazuka-san. I'd rather you use this money however you want. The more prosper- Oh, God. Prosper- The more prosperous- I know how to say prosperous. I'm getting too tired now. The island becomes, the more I could repay you. It'd mean a lot to me if you could accept this much for now, though. Thanks. I really don't mind waiting, but are you sure? I really do appreciate this, though. It'll be helpful. This doesn't even begin to cover all the work you've done for us. Gashapin, Muku, all of us are still thankful for your help. Let's keep up the momentum and aim for two stars. Totally! Hell yeah. 
All right, if we want to be a two-star resort, we're gonna to need to open up the hills and the lighthouse. I recommend starting with the hills first, since it's closer, relatively affordable, due to clear. I couldn't get up the hills until up until now because all the garbage in the way. But it looks like Kenzo's son took that care of it. Took care of it for us. We can even head there now if you want. How about it? Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad plan to scope it out first. Let's get going. <sighs> Since we didn't have access to hills, I'm sure it's in a state of complete disrepair and absolute literal trash. On the bright side, that'll make it easier to gather resources. So let's collect every little scrap. You got it. I'll leave no junk piled undemolished. Oh boy, yeah. The only this garbage is, is gonna be worth so worth it. <laughs> Right? <clears throat> but look what we have here. The owners like it. Buy to make their parents. Huh? The Bosch Bucklers. So, you left this place to rot. We put it to good use as a biggest dumping ground, say. Now we've got a problem on our hands. If you fools decide to reclaim this, Area after going and abandon it, awfully rude to snatch it back down, don't you think? Weren't you the ones who blocked us with all the garbage in the first place? And this was never your land to get with. Quit dumping your trash here. Mm, no, I don't think I will. We gotta keep an eye on you for quite some time now. It's becoming clear you really do intend to take this trash heap back for your own. Oi! Which means it's time for us to get serious too. Ain't that right, lads? I want this piece of land that I have to get through with my crew. Want to take him out now, Captain? Yeah. Oi. And when you don't catch the corpses in the sea, all proper like, them fishes will you be eating well tonight. Oi, oi. Pull up your bridges, you bilge something. Gucking, sucking scallywags. Dick no quarter. Okay, here Let's we go. do it! I feel alive! Out of the motherfucking way! <laughs> hey, stop! Alright. Damn it! He's too strong. This place is no dumpster. Get the hell out of here. Damn it. We'll be back to retake this land and pay you back tenfold. Kazuka son, are you okay? Are you hurt? Nah, I'm fine. But look, now we can get to work in this area. Right you are. It's so spacious here. Once the trash has been cleared, we'll be able to build all kinds of large facilities. It'll be even easier now to collect resources. Let's work even harder to restore this area. Yeah, let's do it. Fight for your land. Some areas that don't go island are currently occupied by the washbucklers. But rec reclaim this land, you have to defeat them in battle. If your health gets reduced to zero, you will be sent home. But you can challenge them as many times as you want by re-entering the area. Just be prepared. A Give those pesky pirates what for. But am I a bit worried about those pirates coming back? They did say they would to retake the land. <laughs> well, if they do, I'll just get rid of them. Otherwise, we won't be able to clear the area. How admirable of you. Thank you so much, Kazuka-san. Hills are now open, and I'm tired, and I've been going on long enough. Wait, sorry, there's a grasshopper. Yay. Alright, I think I'll save it. A dinosaur fossil? What? A raw diamond ore? A lot of grasshoppers up here. Nice! The Doko Stone. Okay. 
All right. Um, you know what? I'm not afraid to record these and just show the chill side of playing them. So I think I might. Um, I'll probably mention the island in the title because I extremely doubt many people want to watch me do this. Well, then again, I can just do all this and then just record all the main cutscenes and the battles. Eh, I'll figure it out. But until then, when we come back, I plan probably doing either more of this or more of a story. Because the story was getting good. But, you know what? I'm going to call it. I'm tired. <sighs> Every man has his limits, and sadly I'm at mine. It's a shame to enjoy this game. Man, I've been going on for two hours. Oof. That's good, mostly me just being quiet and doing my own thing. <laughs> ah, well, it happens. Well, everyone, I hope you had a nice time. I most certainly did, and I'll see you next time, and bye.